we can fine tune like our nutrients. Almost hidden away in a San Carlos warehouse, robots are growing and harvesting food. It's a potential revolution in agriculture happening under the lights and in near silence. You're at Ironox. This is the world's first production robotic farm. CEO Brandon Alexander was born and bred on old school family farms in Texas and Oklahoma, but his love for robotics pushed him to develop methods for machines to do the tedious jobs like seeding, transplanting and harvesting. And he says robots could help solve a growing farm labor crisis. Our goal is to use technology like robotics and machine learning to be able to grow produce at better quality, more consistently and cheaper. Several companies around the world are venturing into autonomous agriculture, but Iron Ox says its technology and methods set it apart. A robotic arm is outfitted with stereoscopic cameras that allow it to see in 3D and gently work around the tender leaves and stems of young plants. The plants are all contained in hydroponic pods, so they are grown in water, not soil, and that's where this comes in. You're riding aboard a machine that may be the John Deere of the future. They call it Angus, and it does all the heavy lifting. It rolls on special wheels that rotate forward and backward and side to side. Uh, we have beautiful, very fragrant basil, um, butterhead. The company is first focusing on salad greens, all grown in the warehouse, and it's packaging produce and testing with local chefs. Oh, well, we're focusing on restaurants initially. We do expect to expand to, to grocery stores in 2019. Although California has easy access to the freshest greens, many parts of the world do not. Iron Ox says with its automated methods, it can produce a delicious salad bowl anywhere. In San Carlos, Len Ramitas, KPIX5.